back with the update. We had a, we got a little sidetrack. We had some real life obligations to take care of, but we're back as we finish up the NFC East with the Dallas Cowboys. And today we're going to be looking at their uh, pass rush. They finished 19th in sack percentage last year, and I, I kind of just wanted to talk about where do they go from here. So you have David Irving right here, who's playing over the center. Uh, he was he, you know, was responsible for a handful of splash plays last year. He had five sacks on the season. Uh, but, you know, as a whole, his game's not consistent. But you do see just rare physical uh, bursts from him. You, know, you see right here, uh, he's playing over the right tackle. It's going to rewind. And watch how he watch how he does the right tackle. Just gets underneath his shoulders, explodes through, and finds a quarterback for a sack. So I, I think the two guys that are returning on the roster, because they did lose Terrell McLean to Washington, it's going to be Irving and uh, Malik Collins are going to be guys that have to come and uh, step up and be big-time pass rushers for the Cowboys this season. Malik Collins was a third-round pick out of Nebraska. He passed just, just as his force player metrics, which means he's really athletic for uh, one tech. But you, you're still kind of counting on a second-year, day-two player to lead your pass rush from the interior. And another guy who's been on and off the field for a variety of reasons, uh, Demarcus Lawrence, he, you know, he had a solid season in 2015 when he had eight sacks. But since then, it's you know he, he's been – on and off the field, whether it's been suspensions or injury, he's he's struggled to stay on the field. Now, a, guy, a free agent acquisition I'm kind of bullish on is Stephen Payet from uh, Cleveland. I, I think that he can come in and potentially be a really nice rotational pass rusher for the Cowboys. He got lost in the shuffle a little bit in Cleveland just because they were trying to see what they had with literally every single player on the roster. So there'd be some weeks where he played you know, 70% defensive snaps, a couple of weeks where he was inactive. But I, I think re uh, pairing him again with Rob Marinelli like he was in Chicago is going to be good for him. And they, they spent their first round pick on uh, Taco Charlton from University of Michigan. I I don't think that this is the guy you want leading your pass rush, but he you, you have to find some infusion of youth uh, to, to, uh, to throw in the defensive line. Just because it, it – at, at, at this point, it does look like Randy Gregory's career is over. Unfortunately, you know, I, I can't really talk about, it, but he he he, you know, he he's he's struggling with his life right now, and uh, it it just seems like football football might not be the best thing for him right now. Uh, so you have Taco Charlton, Stephen Payet added, and you're kind of banking on big improvements from David Irving. Uh, and Malik Collins, and hopefully Demarcus Lawrence can put together a, a full season, and he can maybe provide seven or eight sacks. But as a whole, I'm just a little bit confused why the Cowboys didn't invest more draft picks in their defensive line. I know that it's hard; uh, it was hard for them to go out and sign a guy like a Don Terry Poe or something like that because they had the Romo book still in the contract until this past week. But I just don't really see how this second or how this defensive line takes the next step and i i think that next season we're probably going to be looking heavy into the uh, free agent defensive line market and you know probably spending a first round pick on it too so that's going to wrap up the nfc east we'll be back tomorrow with uh honestly i have no no idea what division we're starting but it's going to be good content anyway enjoy